Hi, I'm Jen from Tater Tots and Jello, and today I'm working on a really fun project. I love to stencil rugs, and I just got through with a nautical room in my for my daughter's room, a nautical theme bedroom, and um, I thought it would be fun to make a rug to go in her bedroom. And so I'm going to make a Greek key pattern rug, and I'm using Scotch's painter's blue tape, um, and I think it's going to be a really fun project. So I wanted to show you what the what the pillow is I'm using as inspiration. Okay, so here's the pillow. Um, I just grabbed it out of my daughter's room, and as I said, it's a nautical room, um, and I thought it would be fun to try to copy or mirror image this pattern, this Greek key pattern on a rug. So I got this rug at Ikea, and I'm going to use Scotch's Blue Painter's Tape, and it has a really cool technology called Edge Lock, and I'm excited to try that out on this rug. So I'm going to take it, and I'm going to can come back here a little ways. You can see the whole rug. There we go. So I'm going to take the tape, and I'm going to mask off that pattern, and then I'm going to I paint it and I was thinking of painting it a light gray color just to be a little bit different than the pillow so I will keep you informed as I do that okay okay here is the rug all taped off it took a little bit of math to figure out how to do this and if a few it took me like a few hours um, I had to have my husband help me because I am not left and right brain person and more creative than um, analytical. So anyways, but here it is. And um, on the border, what I did on um, basically the whole thing is I taped the whole thing off with the two inch tape and then I just peeled the tape off in between so that everything was exactly two inches apart. So I'll just show you how I did that. So there's a little border right here. So I just take my tape, like this, just peel up the middle part all the way around. So the next step is stenciling the rug, and I will show you how to do that in a second. All right, now I'm ready to stencil the rug. So to stencil, what I like to do is have a roller of some sort. This is a Martha Stewart paint, like craft paint roller. Um, a small roller I think is the best thing to use. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to roll it in your paint, cover it, and then you want to make sure that there's not a lot of paint on your actual roller. And it gets better, it's easier once you um, do it a couple times and your paint, your paint gets a little more saturated than this, but um, you want to make sure it's completely saturated but not dripping. Because if it's dripping, it's going to go underneath your tape, and that is not good. So then, you come over to where your tape is, and you're just going to roll like this. Just like that, straight up and down, and do it on the entire rug. So, I will show you some more in a minute. Here is the rug after one coat of paint. As you can see, there are just little, um, it's very, it's, it has a texture, so it's kind of hard to get all the paint in um, on one coat. So I'm gonna do one more coat, and then it should be ready to peel the paint off, the tape off, okay. The second coat has been put onto the rug and now it is dry. So the last thing to do is just to peel up the tape. And that I think is the funnest part, my favorite part. So just take an edge of the tape and peel it up and see underneath, you will see your pattern. Let me just take it, peel it up. Look how great that looks. Look how great the tape did. So we just do that on the whole thing and I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. 
And here's the rug all done. I've taken all the paint off and as you can see, it turned out really great. Um, I'm really happy with it. And the Scotch Blue Painters Tape did a really great job. You can see how crisp all the lines are from the tape. Nothing seeped under, which is really awesome. So I'm going to be putting this rug in my guest room and I'm really, I couldn't be happier with the way that it turned out.